morning you guys so the first tip that i have for you guys to stay on your grind and to stay productive is not hitting snooze in the morning i used to be notorious for doing this ever since i can remember my whole life i've been hitting snooze on my alarm every morning which is fine on the weekends and occasionally but if i want to have a productive day and i want to accomplish a lot of things hitting snooze does not set my day up for success and i've talked about this before on my channel but it's seriously a game changer i never really realized how much that had an impact on me until i stopped doing it and it's made the biggest difference when you're hitting snooze on your alarm you're basically like procrastinating to get up. You're procrastinating the day, which leads you to do that with everything else that you have to do that day. And it kind of sets the tone for the day in a really negative way when you snooze your alarm 10 times. So it doesn't really matter what time you wake up at. Like if you want to wake up at 5 a.m., if you want to wake up at 10 a.m., it doesn't matter as long as you're like getting up on your first alarm and you're just like getting yourself out of bed. That'll make you 10 times more productive than laying in bed having your alarm ring every 10 minutes and it also just like really makes you feel lazy at the end of the day snoozing it a million times and then that, that doesn't lead to a good mindset waking up so that has been a game changer for me on days where i want to like be productive be on my routine and get everything done i just set my alarm for the time realistically that i'm going to wake up at and i wake up turn off my alarm and then get out of bed it's about like building these little habits that make the biggest impact overall and changing these little things that you didn't even notice led into you feeling icky or lazy or whatever. So as per usual, I'm just gonna read my chapter of my Deepak Chopra book for the day. It's just like a spiritual book called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. And then I'm also gonna be drinking my greens. I just kind of like to also sit out here and just like watch the ocean and just like think not really meditation yet but just kind of sit for five minutes just kind of in silence and while i do that i like to kind of think of three things that i want to accomplish today whether it's for work whether it's for my self-care whether it's for my productivity like whatever it is i like to think of just like three main things that i want to feel and that i want to accomplish for the day and it really does help me stay on my grind because having those like three main goals of the day if i ever like feel lost throughout the day i kind of just refer back to that and it really helps guide me throughout the day don't only like think of huge productive goals that you want to accomplish but think of like how do you want to feel today because i feel like we never really do that and that is what can lead to burnout as well is not taking ourselves into account and what we want to feel that day so it's like super important to be aware of your emotions and make a goal of how you want to feel So I'm currently talking to myself in my phone right now as a microphone because the waves are so loud. I don't think you guys would be able to hear me if I just talked normally on the camera. But what I wanted to say was sometimes what I do after I like do my morning routine, do my yoga and meditation on the beach, sometimes if I'm not really feeling that motivated for the day and if I need something to kind of give me that extra push, extra motivation to stay on my grind, I'm not kidding you. This is like the most random weirdest tip but I will open up Pinterest and I will just scroll on Pinterest. For some reason, like Pinterest is so different than every other social media platform in my eyes because it's not really like there's competition on there. I just don't feel like there's competition like there is on other platforms. Pinterest never makes me feel shitty about scrolling on social media. Like even though it's a form of social media, it always makes me feel so good after scrolling on it because it gives me so much motivation. So sometimes, what I'll do is I'll just sit here and scroll on it and seeing images of what I aspire to be like, what I want my life to look like, or just like images that inspire me of like girls going to the gym or beautiful views or just like random stuff on Pinterest, just scrolling on there and making mood boards 
honestly helps me stay on my grind because it re-inspires me and surrounding yourself with things that re-inspire you and give you motivation is so so important and it's vital for you to stay on your grind essentially and I really like doing it in the morning because it always helps kind of me envision what I want my day to look like and it's just so aesthetic and cute on there so um yeah really random tip but it's super effective for me personally and instead of opening my phone and scrolling on Instagram or scrolling on TikTok, I scroll on Pinterest and it does the opposite effect for me in comparison to all those other platforms. I just finished my yoga and I feel so good and I'm gonna take some time and just kind of enjoy nature, sit on the beach and scroll on Pinterest. This is my breakfast for the day. I just picked up this chocolate croissant from the bakery. So excited to eat it. I just wanted to treat myself a little bit, but I just cut up a bunch of strawberries and then scrambled eggs with coffee. So excited to eat this. Okay you guys, so I'm currently on my hot girl walk and I decided to set up the camera here. I have my phone recording my voice again because I just wanted to get a cute shot. But anyways, the next thing that I do to stay on my grind every day is I set goals for myself because without goals I just feel like I am working for nothing and I wake up every day and I feel like I don't have a purpose and I learned that because in the phases of my life where I kind of already achieved the goals that I set I just don't feel very motivated and I feel like I don't have purpose but when I start setting new goals for myself I feel so motivated to wake up every morning be on my grind and work towards my goals even if it's a small goal like okay I'm gonna wake up at 5 a.m every day and go to the gym or as big of a goal as I want to work hard so I can save up and buy a house whatever spectrum that looks like for you having goals that you set and striving to take a step forward every day is going to make the biggest difference in your productivity levels and how you show up for yourself every single day and that's just something that I've implemented into my life for the past few years and it's made the biggest difference it's gave me purpose it's helped me wake up every single morning without pressing snooze on my alarm it's helped me work the hardest i've ever worked every single day it's a game changer short term and long term it changed my life setting goals for myself something so simple that you can do that is gonna keep you on your grind every day but yeah anyways i'm gonna head on home now finish my walk let's go all right it's time to get ready for the day i'm gonna do my makeup there's a little line on my forehead here for my hat so don't mind that <laughs> but anyways so another thing that really helps me is staying ahead <laughs> i used to be horrible at this especially in like high school and when i was in college for a year i was and still kind of am like the biggest procrastinator like i don't even think you guys will understand the level of procrastination that i am or that i was at least i seriously would leave like 
all my work I had to do for school till the very last minute and when I mean the very last minute like I would have like three months to do something and I wouldn't start it till the actual day before because I would just be putting it off and it would always be this weight on my shoulders that really did like impact my mood without even me realizing it but it really did impact my mood in a very negative way because it would just always be on my shoulders and I would stress out about it and it's just like all I had to do was do it in advance and I, you know that stress would be on but no I pushed it off until the very last second to do something because I didn't want to do it obviously it's not as hard for me to procrastinate now because i actually like what i do and it's you know it's a lot more enjoyable so i don't have to put things off all the time but obviously there's still things that come along with my job like emails and tedious things like that taxes and filing my finances and stuff like that where i do put off still and i procrastinate but what i've learned is staying ahead honestly makes the biggest difference and setting kind of false deadlines slash due dates for yourself so let's say I have a sponsorship due on the 15th. Let's say that's like the real deadline for the sponsorship. I'll tell myself that I have to hand that sponsorship in on the 10th and I'll write it in my calendar as the 10th so that I probably will honestly end up forgetting the real date is actually the 15th. But then I'm always staying ahead and even though it's like kind of tricking myself, it works because I see it in my calendar. I'm like, oh shoot, I have to do that. But then I'm actually really ahead of it and then I don't need to worry about it. So kind of doing like little things like that that trick my brain really helps because i'm just like a procrastinator at heart and i know it's like a choice like i don't have to procrastinate like i'm just kind of making excuses here for myself but doing little things like that has really helped me and staying on top of things and the biggest bonus about staying super on top of everything if you need to take like a day off or if you need to take a whole week off it won't even affect you because you're on top of everything like you've already finished your things for the week or a week in advance or whatever so if you want to take a week off you can just go ahead and do that so like whatever that looks like for you in terms of your job or school or whatever i promise you staying ahead of everything and not procrastinating things is a game changer it leads to honestly less burnout because i'm not under so much pressure and stress all the time and it just has like a snowball effect and it really honestly motivates me to keep staying ahead because of like that feeling that it gives me which i really love as opposed to feeling stressed that i'm behind on it everything or anything i am just about to start my work for the day i'm gonna start editing and one thing that has really helped me limit my phone distractions <laughs> is getting this app and it's called flora so i actually just recently started using it but what it does basically is it like plants a tree and then you can grow your tree by staying off of your phone like if you open the app and start a session you can put like how long you want to focus for and then the tree will grow but if you exit out of the app then it'll like kill your tree you can like grow a garden and it helps you stay really productive because you don't want to kill your plants you know so it's different than just putting your phone kind of on do not disturb for setting a timer because it actually like does something that you can visually see yeah so i've been loving putting this app on while i edit because usually when i'm editing my phones right beside me and i have so many distractions so having that app on it really helps me just like take time to focus in periods and like time slots where i don't use my phone and where i won't get distracted but yeah i feel like this is just like an obvious tip is to like set boundaries with your phone and i've said this multiple times on my channel before but it's just like this constant struggle i feel like that i face but ever since i got this app it's actually really helped me before i actually get into editing i'm just gonna make a quick to-do list i've already talked about this like multiple times before but it's just like vital. without a to-do list i feel so helpless honestly throughout the day a to-do list keeps me focused it keeps me on track throughout the day of like what exactly i need to get done and what i want to get done really i'll just kind of look at my agenda for the week and then i'll go based off of that and then write my to-do for the day having an agenda and then having a to-do list is like two things that keep me productive keep me staying on my grind because without those two like there's no planning there's no organization and i just don't know what i would ever do so yeah let's do some work get the flora app going and let's get some work in editing done and emails and all that fun stuff
shots on the video They tryna say we done pussy, we can't done We can't 